Hi guys, I um, thought I'd make a video um, to show my PlayStation 4 collection. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to dive straight into it. Um, first off is a game, well, I don't really play that much, but it's the Guitar Hero Live. Obviously, I used to love Guitar Heroes on PlayStation 3, so, but I don't really play the PS4 version that much because I find it a bit hard. Um, next is a game I love dearly, is The Last of Us Remastered. I completed this on the uh, PlayStation 3, uh, yet to do the PS4 version yet, but I still love this game and it's one of the best of all time. And of course with that, you've got to have The Last of Us Part 2. And I know a lot of people, there's a bit of ups and downs on this one. I, I think it's going to be a great game and I will get into that soon. Uh, next is a great horror game in my eyes, one of the best made. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, it's by a company called Supermassive Games and it's called Until Dawn. This is a fantastic game. Play, play as eight friends. Try and see how many you can keep alive. I don't think I did that well. I think I only ended up with three alive. Which I suppose ain't too, too sad. And another game by the same people, Supermassive Games, is uh, Man of Medan. I haven't you played this one yet. There's quite a few of my games I haven't played yet, you'll find out. Uh, but this one is part of a trilogy, I believe. I've got to get the second one, so hopefully I'll get that soon. And then I think the third one is due out shortly. Uh, next, well, I hear this game's really good. Yet again, I haven't played it yet. But it's Spider-Man. Now, I really want to get into this soon, but I've got so many games I need to get through as well. But, yeah, this one's got to be in everyone's collection, I think, especially if you're a Marvel fan like myself. And next, I have played this one, especially online, and like everyone probably has. Grand Theft Auto V. Now, this is the premium edition, um, which I'm not sure... Oh, you get a Criminal Enterprise starter pack with that one, so come in handy. Next is also one of my favourite games, another open world one. Once again, I have played this one, believe it or not. It's made by Rockstar, same people who do GTA. It's Red Dead Redemption 2. That's a very long game. I haven't tried the uh, online bit of this game yet, but we'll do soon. Uh, next is a game, a game from another one of my favourite uh, developers is Quantic Dream and it is Detroit Becoming Human now I've played a little bit of this not too much but I kind of get the gist of the game and I think everyone may have owned this at some point it's a very good game what I have played of it and next is two more games by the same people Quantic Dream uh, well, this is a t two game collection Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls now these are the two games I completed on the PS3 so now I've only just recently got this one so I've got to go through it all again on the PS4 so obviously hopefully the graphics will be super better as well um, next uh, is another game I've just recently pur purchased from Rocksteady the Batman Arkham Collection. Now I'm a huge, huge Batman fan and this is definitely a collection I needed to get. I'm quite ashamed I've only just recently got it to be honest, but there you go. Now this is a game I always used to play, all the other versions as well, but I've kind of gone off it a little bit. It's FIFA 21. Now, I always start these games with good optimism. But recently, I get bored quite easier than now. I'm sure most people, most FIFA players do. Is they just don't bother the career mode that much. So, sort it out. Uh, the next one is... This, this was bought for me for a little bit of fun. And it is quite fun, actually. Um, it's Overcooked 1 and Overcooked 2. These are great little family games. Little piss-about games, you know. So... You've always got to have a piss about game in your collection. 
Um, yeah, it's really, oh, here we go. Uh, this is a game I got when it first came out. I was ranting about it so much that I really needed it. And when I got it, once again, surprise, surprise, I still haven't played it to this day. That's Vampire. I've also heard this game was quite buggy as well. But hopefully they've sorted it out, so by the time I play it, no problems. Uh, next is some three more games I've just recently purchased. Um, I've probably done it in a weird way, really. I've still got to get one, two, and three. But it's uh, Resident, Resident Evil 5. This is a... I think it was... Was it the first Resident Evil game maybe had co-op in a campaign? Maybe. I might be wrong on that, but let me know if I am. Uh, but yeah, it's a great co-op game. One of the best Res Evils I've played, definitely. And yes, I have played that one. Uh, next uh, is Resident Evil 6. Once again, another great co-op game. Uh, it was the PS3 that I played this one on. So I'm looking forward to playing the playing this version. So yeah, got to love the Res Evil games. This one I haven't played yet, but I've only just bought it as well. Uh, it's Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, and it's also VR compatible, which I have the VR, so I'm looking forward to that. It's meant to be very good in the VR mode, rather than normal mode, I believe. Uh, this game as well, I've only just recently bought, because I think it's, it's not on come out on the PS4. It's uh, another one by Quantic Dream. It's Fahrenheit. It's the... Uh, 15th anniversary edition and I'll show you what you get with that which is you get a Fahrenheit art book uh, yeah so shows all the good artwork for the game uh, and yeah, you get, get a few little stickers and I think there's a thank you note in there as well so yeah it's not bad I've only paid I think I paid about £20 for it, which is a pretty good price, I think. So yeah, I do love that game. It was the PS2. I played this one on and spent hours on it. I loved every minute of it. Can't wait to get into that one. And next, this is a game I really love. Still yet to complete it, but I have got quite far in it. It's called Days Gone. Now, once again, this is a, another open world game around zombies i heard a lot of people didn't like it as well can't like last of us part two but i think you're all wrong that game is amazing days gone love it and next these the games i've got now are pretty much from my favorite company of all time that's telltale games because i love the you know episodes and kind of the old stories to them uh let me just sort these out. I'll write the first one, which was the first one that I ever played for Telltale Games. Uh, it was The Walking Dead Season 1. Now this game, what can you say about this game? It's just amazing. Like If you love the TV show, this is up there with it as well. And obviously, it's the winner of 90 Game of the Year awards. So, yeah, that basically says it all with that one. Fucking amazing game. Uh, next, we have The Walking Dead Season 2. Once again, I don't, know, I don't really know if it outdone the first one, but it was up there. It was, it's a pretty amazing sequel to it. Well, Telltale always make you want more, and they do deliver. Uh, next, it's The Walking Dead A New Frontier, the third one. Uh, yeah, this one... It was, oh, don't get me wrong, it was really good. I do love it. But it wasn't as good as the first two, I didn't think. But it still had the main character, Clementine, in it, which was good. Well, she's in all four of them anyway, so. And that brings me to my next one, which is The Walking Dead, the final season. This game was actually an amazing game. Uh, loved every minute of it, finishing Clementine's story. And I recommend, if you like episodic games, these are the ones to get. Or any Telltale ones, really. Uh, this one I haven't played too much of, but I did first get it on the PS3, uh, which is Back to the Future. Uh, I'm quite surprised I haven't really played this one that much, as you know, I'm a massive Back to the Future fan. 
and uh, yeah, for some reason I think I've got like a German version here. But yeah, it's, uh, what I have played of it has been pretty good so far. Uh, next is a uh, Game of Thrones. Now this game is actually amazing. It's got a certain amount of uh, the actual proper characters from the TV series. I'm guessing you'll watch the TV series because uh, it's amazing. And just like this, it gets you hooked straight away. You fall in love with the characters, and then you know. But just like the TV series, don't get too attached. But yeah, this I'm still hoping they do a season two. So they really need to do that. So it's been left on the cliffhanger. Now this one, everyone wants number two for this, including myself. Uh, it's the Wolf Among Us. Now this. I'll tell you lie, this is probably the first one I played for Telltale Games. It's the first one that got my attention to the company. Uh, yeah, it's based like it's like a fairy tales characters in it with a different spin. So this one is very good. Uh, it's got 10 out of 10 on, for most game magazines and award shows or whatever have you. Uh, yeah, Telltale Games really delivered on that one. Uh, next. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Now I never played the actual, um, the actual uh, proper Borderlands games, but I'll, because of Telltale, I had to buy this one anyway. And when I actually played it, I was hooked straight away. Uh, the storyline is really good. Characters, once again, you get attached to them, and yeah, it just makes you want more. Like all Telltale games, you just want more. Uh, this one, I haven't played yet, uh, which is mad again since it's Marvel, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I'm quite intrigued on this one, can't really say too much about it, but because I haven't played it yet, but yeah, uh, Telltale, I think it's going to be amazing anyway, because they don't really fail in my eyes. Uh, now these two, I was very excited about, because I love Batman, and it's Batman season one this was a very good game i played you know i pretty much played through it in one hit because uh, the storyline just grabbed me straight away and being a batman fan helped and uh, you just know all the characters and yes yeah, once again telltale games have done themselves there and uh same with this one batman the enemy within season two it was on par with the first one, I thought. Uh, and you get the Riddler was introduced in this one, and my favourite Harley Quinn. Got another bit of Harley Quinn. Yeah, she was in this one, and yeah, I just kept trying to kiss her in it all the way through. But very good game. Well done, Telltale, for that one. Bring out season three. Uh, and last but not least is. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Had so much fun playing this on the PS3 with all my mates. Uh, always used to get on online and do the old team death matches and domination. Those were my favourites. I think my favourite map was Shipment. Uh, I was pretty good at that map. Not very good at the others, but Shipment was. I was pretty shit hot on. And uh, yeah, I loved this game so much. Had to get it remastered uh, so that's pretty much my physical copies of the uh, playstation 4 um, i will go through my uh, digital copies but i'll save that for another video so i hope you enjoyed this one and uh, i'll see you soon bye for now